Alright YouTube, this is Unreal Odin, and you are watching my newest Let's Play. This is going to be going along Kokoron for a bit, uh, so I'll probably alternate uploads for those. Uh, but this game is called Gotcha Force, which you can probably see from the title. Gotcha Force is one of my favorite games, actually. It's definitely in my top ten. Uh, but I don't really know what my top ten is. And, uh... It's really fun. Uh, if you ever see this at the store, I uh, encourage you to pick it up. Pretty fun game. Uh, but there is a cutscene coming up, so I am going to cut out for that. Also, a life form known as a Gotchaborg from the planet Megaborg. What? All right. So uh, they pretty much just summed up the entire story of Gotcha Force in that minute and a half cutscene. Uh, basically, this is G Red. He is a little Gotchaborg who uh, is going to fight alongside us for this battle. They are the Death Force. They are an evil born corpse that fight only to conquer and destroy. Your fighting courage turns into GF energy, which is my battle power. Now, give me your orders, GF Commander. We uh we only get into GF energy uh, once in this whole episode. Uh, hopefully, we'll get into it a few more times in the next episode. But uh. Basically, G Red is a very good Gotcha Board. He's got three different attacks plus his melee attacks. He's got his B uh, gun shot, and then he's got his charge B, which is that beam that I just shot. And he's got his X, which is uh, his Falcon Punch. Well, I'm not really sure if it is a Falcon Punch, but uh, that's what it looks like. And so uh, that was a pretty easy battle. Um, we will get into way more difficult battles later on. Uh, this game is actually really obscure as well. Uh, you probably never heard of it because uh, it was cancelled uh, shortly after its release. You can still find the copies of this occasionally and definitely on eBay. Uh, highly recommend you pick it up. Very good game. The only problem with it is, uh, once you get into the later part of the game, it does lag a bit, uh, when there's too many gotcha borgs on screen and there's too much going on, you will experience a little bit of slowdown. But it's no big deal. It's worth it. Little slowdown doesn't hurt anyone. I'm sure you get way more slowdown in, uh, playing online in your Call of Duties. Hi! Uh, this is Kakeru. He's our first human that we encounter. And uh, his Gajaborg is special, uh, like uh, G-Red, 
He uses a normal ninja named Sasuke, or Sasuke, and it is just a basic normal ninja. And if you don't know what a normal ninja is, it is a uh, gacha Borg. It's just a normal ninja with uh, upgrading capacity. So uh, as it levels up, it will obtain more ninja stars and uh, bombs, which are its B and X attacks. G Red will also uh, get more bullets in his gun as he levels up. Yeah. I think by the time he's level uh, 10, which is the max level, he'll have uh, it's either 12 or 14 bullets. Hey. Uh, now this is Kitsune, and uh, I hate him. He's probably one of my least favorite characters in this entire game, along with his uh, friend that uh, we'll see later in this episode. But uh, his uh, special gacha Borg is Isaac, which is a, uh, I think it's called a machine type Borg. And uh, each human uses a special kind of Borg, like a Borg type. Uh, Sa or not Sasuke, Kakeru uses ninja type Borgs. Kitsuna uses machine type Borgs. Or no, not, I think these are just robot or cyborg or I don't remember. I'll put an annotation. But uh, he uses robots pretty much. Uh, and uh, I'll explain the other characters as we see them. All right. that was luck. I didn't even get hit in that battle. As you're uh, probably noticing, our GF energy is going up by 10 each battle, and uh, it'll continue to do so. And some battles will actually give you a reward of uh, a lot more GF energy. So sometimes you'll beat a boss or something and get 500 GF energy. Uh, basically, Mana is... Uh, she uses Nurse-type orcs, and her... Uh, Special Borg is Neo, and it's just a an angel nurse, or uh, I think that's what they're called. And it heals you. And uh, Mana is probably one of the my most used allies. You get to pick an ally each battle, and Mana is very good because she heals your Gotch Borgs when it's uh, low on health. This is GF Energy, actually. Uh, we only get to see it for a few seconds, but basically it amps up your power and your speed by a lot. So you'll be able to run around really fast, shoot really fast, and get way more powerful attacks. Also, your charge abilities uh, go really fast. And you pretty much have infinite ammo if you uh, need ammo. So uh, I decided to uh, pick Mana for this battle so I could show her off, but uh, she doesn't actually heal me. Which isn't a surprise because I didn't take very much damage. Uh, this game can actually be quite difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, by difficult I mean you'll lose a few battles. Uh, I, I'll probably be able to go through the whole game without losing a battle. I haven't played this game for about a year, but... Uh, I never lose battles because uh, I'd like to say I'm good at this game. That was a pretty sweet combo I just did right there. But other than the fact that Mana heals, she's pretty useless. Now this is the friend of Kitsune's I was mentioning. This is Nikobe. And... Oh man, he is the biggest douchebag ever. Like, just the stuff he does throughout the uh, You're no match for me. game is just annoying. If you oppose, Katsumi, he uses night type for Or no, does he? Yes, he does. He uses night type Borgs, and uh, his starting Borg is a vampire knight called Vlad. And Vlad is, uh, or Vampire Knights are actually really cool. What they do is, uh, they lose health every second, so I think it's like one health every half a second, so two health a second. 
and every time they deal damage, they gain whatever damage they deal back to their health. Which is pretty neat. Uh, so for really big gacha boards, Vampire Knights are very, very useful. You'll probably see me use uh, Night Type or, or not Night Type, but uh, Vampire Knights a lot. After defeating the Akoba in Kitsune, you will see that our GF energy goes up to 800. Now, what GF energy does is it allows you to create uh, larger forces. For whatever reason, you can only use a certain amount. Uh, Revolver Gunman and Normal Ninja are always going to be the two they give you from the start. And Revolver Gunman is uh, one of my favorite gacha borgs. I love using him, and I decided to show him off in one last battle. I'm going to try and hover my videos around 10 minutes, uh, but 15 minutes maximum. I will be cutting out all the Death Force battles, I'm not sure if I've already mentioned that, but yeah. They are very repetitive, They, it's just the same thing over and over again. So I'm only going to leave in battles like this where I'm fighting a human, or uh, battles that are important, or unique in some way. And I'm also debating on uh, whether I should uh, speed up the battles. Because the battles get quite long later on, uh, like, we're talking, one battle could take me one video. So I was debating on doubling the speed of some videos with the longer battles. Um, Sasuke is pretty easy. Basically, you're fighting three normal ninjas, but Sasuke is a normal ninja technically. And uh, that was actually the last battle I'm doing in this episode. So we're having around 12 minutes, and I will see you in the next episode.